I, I'm interested to see how this Galti gets on. I heard Frank talking about him previously, and Frank says he doesn't care what name's on the back of the jersey. If they don't pull the weight, they're not playing. Now, that seems the way to go. The problem is, and, and at times, even in Champions League, Messrs. Me uh, Messi, Neymar and Mbappe didn't do the defensive duties. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. If you don't play these three guys, you're going to have some problem in your dressing room. Yeah. So I understand that that maybe is a way to go. Yeah. But I think the problem is, if you've got three guys not pulling their weight and you're the type that does that, A, do you pull the three of them or do you pull one of them? And if you pull one of them, I mean, it's just, it's got chaos written all over it. So I'm interested to see how it works, to be honest. Yeah, a headstrong manager may be needed when dealing with someone like Neymar, Shaka. Yeah, you, you, you have to, and, and it's the one thing. Well, let, let me just say it's the one thing that PSG haven't had, because in all honesty, PSG have had some incredible managers over the years, and they mm -hmm. failed to deliver the Champions League mm -hmm. um, thus far. The, the one consistent thing with, with, with PSG is, it seems every off-season, everybody knows absolutely the right thing to say, and, and Kylian Mbappe doing exactly that yet again. So... Um, I'm sorry, I, I listen, a new, new, new manager, a new attitude, new culture around the club, they're saying the right things, but we've kind of been here before. Let's get the season started, see how PSG equip themselves, because uh, I've, I've, I've seen this movie one too many times. Yeah, and lately maybe as well with uh, Neymar, but uh, Frank, how can Galtier now deal with uh, somebody who needs to come back, needs a renaissance of source? It's going to be a hard task, that's for sure. And everybody, as, uh, as Shaka said, I've seen that uh, over the past years, uh, it's been very hard, even impossible to, uh, to cope uh, with um, some characters of some players inside the dressing room. And if you don't put them on the, in the lineup every game, they're going to complain to the, the, the president. They're going to maybe don't, even not showing up. Uh, they, 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 don't, they do whatever they want. So hopefully, Galtier is going to find the words or find the attitude to push Neymar to his best because that's for the, the, the best of everybody. You know, if Neymar plays like he used to play when he was for playing for Barcelona, which I still doubt that he still can do, uh, that would be for the best of Paris Saint-Germain and for Neymar and for Galtier. So that's going to be a psychological um, conversation that Galtier will have to have with Neymar to make sure that first he gives his best and second he doesn't put a mess inside the dressing room if he doesn't pick him. Yeah, and they have to confide now in their manager in general, but especially uh, Shaka in a World Cup year. Yeah, I, I listen, there's a lot at stake for, for a lot of these players. Mm -hmm. um, given given the, the high-profile nature of, of, of the players that PSG have at their disposal, whether we're talking Kylian Mbappe, who's who's become the leader of, the, of this dressing room, or we're talking about Lionel Messi or Neymar and, and their own uh, respective objectives with their national teams and, and how they have become the, the leaders of, of, of their national teams as well. So it's, it's a lot at stake and, and a lot that we've not seen enough of Lionel Messi in terms of his performances for PSG. We've heard a little bit too much of Neymar and his poor performances yeah. for, for PSG. So it's a, a big opportunity for a number of, of, of players, a number of people within that club and that dress room to get things right, yep. at, least in the, uh, at least to start things, at least to, to stamp that, that authority as to who they, who they are and who they intend to be, not just domestically, uh, but, in, but in, in, in Europe. But I, I will remain a cynic until, until they <laughs> prove me differently. And Gantier could, could use this as a motivation. Could be Messi's last World Cup. Mbappe already won it, but Neymar trying to come back for Brazil, Stevie. Mm. You know, of those, of those three you're talking about, I, I think the only one that my money's on to be at it from the get-go is Messi. The other two, I'm not so sure. Mbappe hasn't convinced me that he's matured enough that he's a guy that does what Messi does. What Messi does is every single time he goes on the field, he's at it. Now... Has he been at his best? No. But I don't think you can question his attitude. I'm not so sure about Mbappe and Neymar. Mm. I, I, I really not. And I think 
there are a lot of players who will have a lot of motivation to get to get to the World Cup sides when it comes along. People like Gareth Bale, for example, mm -hmm. will be so motivated because of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. I don't, I can't see Neymar and Mbappe yeah. thinking that way because they're going. Yeah. Unless they fall and, and lose a leg, they're going. So I'm not so sure that my money's on the two of them. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.